Don't leave your girl around me, true player for real. Ask my nigga for <clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been on this whole journey across the United States. So I decided to share with you, I guess my experience along the way. Right now I'm currently in <clears throat> Georgia. It's kind of hot. Right now I'm in Georgia. So I drove from California. I drove from Northern California to Arizona. I stayed in Arizona for a week. Um, the drive to Calif to Arizona was like kind of scary, honestly, because there were a lot of like winding roads and um, different like weather temperatures. Like Hold on. Anyways, it was raining and it was like foggy and then it was like cold, freezing cold. So it was just a bunch of like different temperatures and also like different, there were so many beautiful views. Like I even saw snow on the mountains um which i did record most of my views so i'm gonna put those in the video also so you can see them but it was just such a peaceful journey and like i was able to because i went alone i didn't i didn't have anybody to come with me i literally loaded up all of my stuff in my car my loaded like it there was no room for anything there's like no room to even sleep in there but i made it work because i was I didn't want to spend no money on a room, so I just stopped at rest stops whenever I got tired. But it was, I just, being alone and like having time to actually think and process and reflect on everything is such a beautiful, like, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's such a beautiful thing to be able to do. like. If you ever have this chance to just like go on a road trip alone and just be with yourself, it's like the highest form of like meditation to me. Like just being alone with your own thoughts, your own energy, your own self. Um, so that was beautiful. Like just coming, cause I was in California for three years, three, three and a half years. And I've changed a lot since three years ago like I am not who I was when I moved to California like I started going to therapy I started reading more just reading period I mean I used to read maybe like one book every two years I started reading more I started doing yoga I started doing Pilates I started actually lifting weights working out I was vegan for a year and a half like I just I feel like I was able to actually try different things and to see like what worked for me and what didn't. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I think I've mentioned it before, but I'm a mom. I have two kids. I had kids when I was young. So I feel like I didn't really have a chance to figure out who I was and what I wanted. And moving to California gave me an opportunity to do that. I was able to like just take time away, even though it was so hard being away from my kids being away from my family although I did visit you know every few months and talk to them daily but it's still it's not the same you know and it's 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 hard for the kids too because it's like your mom's away but also for me I just feel like that was something that I had to do for me in order to be better for them and a lot of people won't understand that and that's okay but yeah I just I've evolved. I'm. St I mean, I'm still evolving. Like every day is a chance to grow, heal, learn. Like I'm forever a student. I'm still learning. I'm not perfect. I'm gonna still make mistakes. Like, but overall, 
I'm so grateful. Like moving to California was like the I've had so many great experiences. I had some bad ones, but it all made me who I am right now. And I'm so very, very, very thankful and grateful for that because your girl used to be wilding. <laughs> okay. She used to be wilding. But honestly, I'm not going to say that I, I, I won't wild again because like I'm a multifaceted person. Like I don't like to be categorized and I don't like to be put in a box of, oh, she only does that or she can only do this because she's evolved. Like, no, I'm still... I still like to express myself. I still like to exp not necessarily like express my body like naked, but I still like to express my my feminine my femininity and my sexuality. Like I don't I don't look at things the same way like I used to. Like I used to feel like oh it was sexual like or people would make or people sexualize women when they aren't fully dressed, and it's like no, this is art. This is like we came into the world this way. I don't even know, like, who, why do we even have to wear this? But that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> that's a whole nother uh, YouTube. Yeah. But anyways, I think I got off track. Um, I think I said all that to say, do what's best for you. And don't let anybody deter you from doing what's best for you, for you no matter who it is like <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway so i went to, when i got to when i got to arizona i stopped and saw my best friend Brittany. hey Brittany, if you're seeing this um she lives in scottsdale and it is so beautiful there like i immediately fell in love as soon as i got there i'm like this is like this is, I, I could live here. <laughs> it's like everywhere I went through, I'm like, I could live here. It's just so beautiful and so peaceful there. Um, and I like the fact that when you get in the car, you literally, if you drive to the store, you can literally see a big mountain. Like there's a, a canyon rock, like right there. <laughs> I'm, I just love nature now. Like I'm, I'm so obsessed with nature. Like, when I get back to Florida, I'm going to be at the beach like every day <laughs> or somewhere in nature because I just, that's, that's one thing I'm going to miss about California. There is just the nature there. It's just so beautiful. The, the coast, oh, I used to love driving to the coast, having picnics at the park, you know, but anyways, we're going to still do that and maybe one day we'll move back to California. But anyways, so Arizona was so much fun. I have a bunch of um, videos on that. I, we ended up going to, first of all, I stopped at the Grand Canyon because I'm like, if I'm going to Arizona, I might as well stop at the Grand Canyon. You know, like who doesn't, why wouldn't you do that? So even though it added on two hours, it added on like two extra hours. I still went and it was snowing. Well, it wasn't snowing, but there was snow. So like, I was not expecting that at all. I even got out of the car and step, tried to step in some snow and almost sunk into it. But other than that, it was pretty dope. Like I can't even, I can't even explain the Grand Canyon. Like that is something that is just out of this world. Like, you got to see it for yourself. You got to see it to believe it because it's just, like, how is that, how, I just be wondering, like, how are things like that possible? Like, how did that, was that already there? Like, did a huge freaking meteor, like, come in and smash the earth? Like, what is it? What's the history behind the Grand King? I'm sorry, I'm going to do some research. And then also I've been hearing a lot of conspiracy theories about they be having hot, they be hot and stuff and end up in the canyons and stuff. But anyways, I don't want to be like shadow banned or anything. So we're not going to talk about that. Um, where else did we go? We went to Antelope Canyon. That was like also unreal. It's like, well, that's from water erosion, which is like mind blowing in itself. But that was pretty dope. 
inside of the canyons, it was so cold, like freezing. So if you ever go to Antelope Canyon, we went to the lower, I think we went to the lower canyon make sure you go prepare make sure you wear like gloves and like a coat and like boots because it's freezing inside of those canyons <laughs> so from scottsdale to antelope canyon it was four hours i believe so I, we just was just traveling all over the all over the world, but we were like, we're gonna, we're here. We might as well go explore, you know. So that was so fun. Um, after Arizona, I drove to Dallas, and as soon as I got to Dallas, got my room. There's this like blaring sound coming from my phone saying that there's a tornado warning. I'm like, what? It was mind you, it was just sunny. Like there was, it was just fine outside. Next thing you know, it's like raining hell. I'm getting a tornado warning. Getting tornado warnings on my phone. And I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm here to have fun. Like I'm not here to be wiped away by a tornado. Like what? So then I just took a shower and laid down i was like you know what maybe that's a sign from the universe that i should sit down and just relax for the rest of the evening because it had already been a long journey anyway so i'm like okay i'm gonna take heed and i'm just gonna relax so that's what i did and then the next day i got up and had brunch at this place called snooze and i had the shrimp and grits and it was fire however they could have put a little seasoning on it that's these restaurants be killing me because they don't be putting no seasoning. And I don't know if y'all know, but when you put salt on top of something, it just don't, it just don't do it. It just don't do what it's supposed to do. You need them seasonings on the inside so that way, you know, it just soak up into it, seeps up into the food. But anyways, it was still good. I had some mimosas, that was good. And then, I ended up going to get my retwist. I found this, well, my friend found this girl for me and she slayed and it still looks good. Like my hair don't ever last this long. Is that cause I don't wrap it at night? That's probably why, cause I don't be wrapping it at night. But anyways, don't tell nobody. That's, that's between me and you. Um, but yeah, so I ended up getting my hair done and then shout out to Risha for doing my hair and being such an amazing person. She, um, we were just chopping it up while she was doing my hair. She ended up having, um, some extra tickets to the R&B only event. So we ended up going and had so much fun. Like it was such a blast. Um, after that. I got on the road and headed back home. Well, not home, cause I'm not home yet. I'm in Georgia. I had to stop and see my big sister star. Uh, she's moving soon. So I was like, you know what? I need to see her before she moved. Cause I don't know when I'm gonna make it to see her again. But so I'm here in Georgia right now and I think I'm gonna head to Florida tomorrow it's raining now so i'm like maybe in the morning it'll be like clear but i'm just not in a rush i'm just whenever i feel called like i'm on my own time i don't i don't move to the pace of anybody else's drum like i do me i do my own thing like i don't so yeah if i wanted to go right now I would go but I don't you know like I just that's a whole nother topic also like moving at the pace of somebody else's because because you're a people pleaser or because you have no boundaries or because yeah but anyways so yeah I'm gonna head to Florida soon um I just wanted to give you guys a little update um I'm just enjoying I'm just being present I'm just enjoying my time and then when I get to Florida, it's full mommy mode. <laughs> full
full mommy mode and I'm extremely excited because that's when I operate the best. That's when I am in my full femininity. I flourish and I just can't wait. My kids are so amazing. Like, I don't know. I'm not like, I don't know about y'all kids, but my kids, they're the best. They've been the best since they were babies. Like you can ask anybody. Like they were never crybabies. They never gave nobody a hard time. They were the best kids, both of them. I have a son and a daughter. I have a nine-year-old and I have an 11-year-old. She's gonna be 12 this year and he's gonna be 10. And I'm gonna be 31. I'm gonna be 31 this year, guys. Anyways, let me just go. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and all the content from my road trip. And that's all, I guess. Oh, what's my outro? Okay, so I came up with this new outro and I wanna know what you guys think. So here it is. Heal, evolve, and empower yourself to be the best version of you. Is that like corny? Is that like cliche? Like, heal, evolve, and empower yourself to be the best version of you. Love you. Bye. in the middle of nowhere we are currently in like modesto area um about to pass patterson diablo grande on the five headed towards wait are we going on the five or are we going i don't know i don't remember Anyways, so I think there's a flood warning in Los Angeles or around that area. So we're not going to be able to go that way. <sighs> Calm your nerves and, and burn some incense and <sighs> get some good energy in here. Okay, um, <laughs> I am at the first rest stop in, where is this place called? This is Fenner, Fenner Rest Area, which is in San Bernardino County, California. And this is my first time, well, no, I stopped and got gas, actually. This is like my third stop. But, um, I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> and then I have four hours left, I believe, to my destination. Let's see. Four hours and 37 minutes. So I'm gonna get up early and get her done. But look at this um, <laughs> T 
tell me why I only bought two window covers because I thought it was four in the I don't know what I was thinking because you there's more than four windows but anyways yeah so for now this is just gonna have to just block the front so I can have me a little privacy while I take my little uh cat nap here and yeah so as you can see I'm tired I've been driving for how long so it was originally 12 hours and I already drove. I mean, I have four hours left. I can't even think. What is what is 12 minus four? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm itching. Why am I itching? Something bit me. I'm just ready to take a shower. I'm just ready to just wash my hair. Like, I just feel so, like, dirty. <laughs> like, uh-uh. Just itching. But, um, I guess I'm gonna watch some Netflix. Or maybe I will... Yeah, I think I might watch Jenny and Georgia on Netflix and eat some snacks. Let's see. I can probably set it up real. Let me see. I got the iPad over here. We got the snacks. You know what I'm saying? We got the popcorners, the white cheddar. This is my bed for tonight. <laughs> Hi, uh, welcome. First time visiting? Yeah. Uh, do you have a park pass already? No. Okay, are you ha happen to be a veteran or active military? Okay, so our basic fee is $35. Okay. It is one to seven day pass. And where are you visiting from? Just the um, California? Yeah. Great. What part? Santa Rosa. Great. We only need um, ID when you're showing an annual pass. Oh, okay. So you have seven days to decide to use this as a credit if you want to get the annual pass for other okay. federal years. We're open 24 hours a day. Actually, one of our ranges is from Santa Rosa. Oh, wow. I've seen her, Kylie. I anywhere. I think she was on vacation. Yeah, I'm right actually here. on my way back to Florida. I just oh, had to stop what in part of see Florida? Sarasota. Oh, yeah, I used to work at Disney. I was dancer singer for years. Oh, wow. And I worked at Sarasota at the Van Weasel. Oh, you I did? did? I did a national tour, Broadway national tour, so I'm like it hot with Tony Curtis, and we played the Van Weasel. Wow, how'd stuff. you get here? Well, I, my love of, the, of outdoors started in Florida. I okay. In New Jersey. And with my entertainment stuff, traveling, I got even more love. Yeah. And then, um, and then I finally got my first ranger job in Acadia in Maine. I'd done cruise ships and performing. Oh, nice. And then it kind of was a snowball effect. I did yeah. a lot of seasonal work for years, including New York City. And then I got this permanent in 2016. Okay. And so I made my way. Yeah, but yeah. I never, ex I never planned on right. working at Grand Canyon or even being a ranger, really. But it, it got. It just kind of happened. Yeah, yeah, because I love the outdoors. Yeah. It started in Florida, though.
Okay, so they just handed me this map like I'm just supposed to know. Oh, it would be nice to go on a hike, but yeah. I'm just viewing. <laughs> I'm just viewing. Okay, so I don't know where I'm at right now. All right. I almost bust my ass in these freaking Adidas. So I had to dig in the trunk and get the boys. Get the boys. So we can uh we can step in this snow because I'm yeah. I literally almost just lost my life. Like I probably would have like slid off the fucking I mean off the freaking mountain or something. <laughs> off the canyon, I mean. Like I almost slid off the canyon, guys. Like, so I need a big boy. I need a big boy. We got the big boys out tonight. Yeah. We should do rooms and come out here. You have some? No. Oh. I don't even know where to get up. Like, I know, right? Maybe we should come back. Well, I don't know if it's going to be that good. Like, they need to be tired. That person. No, don't be sorry. <laughs> Why are you sorry? Yeah. Don't be sorry. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how green. Of you taking a picture, which is actually really cute. I like this. So cool. Right. I feel like I'm in like an enchanted forest. Right. That's literally what it feels like.
This might be the first time I've ever seen like gnats though since I've been here. It's to it's it's over the water, that's why. We made it! The desert for real now. <laughs> On a safari. <sighs> so pretty. Oh wow. Oh wow. Like we're already like in here. <laughs> right. gotta come check it out it's so nice like oh it's about to rain is it or is that like far away it looks like it's about to rain we better run
made it to Amarillo, Texas. Now we are on our way to Fort Worth, which is well, basically Dallas. Um, the arrival time is 12.34 p.m. We're five hours away and 340 miles. I didn't really get much sleep at the rest stop, which is why I'm like back up driving again. It's 7.35 a.m. I've been driving for like an hour and a half already because I just was so uncomfortable and I just like, you know what, I'm just gonna just get up because this is not working. So I, I don't know, I just, if your car is packed, I don't recommend sleeping in the car. <laughs> like it's so uncomfortable and it's cold at night. So yeah, but other than that, everything else is good. Um, well, actually on my way to Texas, I had a little hiccup in New Mexico. Um, I hit a pothole on my way to New Mexico and ended up getting a bubble in my tire. So then I had to get a new tire and that took like a whole hour and a half. So. But yeah, everything worked out. Luckily, there was a tire place like right around the corner, so I wasn't like, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it kind of put me back a little bit, but everything happens for a reason. I'm so excited to be in Texas. I'm just ready to eat, pretty much. Like, I just always hear about all the good food in Texas, and I'm ready to like, just eat everything, so. Nice. No, I actually just ate. <laughs> nice. No, I actually just ate. <laughs> Oh, Dallas. <laughs> 